soon as they tell you that go and buy your insurance, pay your flight, your flight ticket I mean, that is the flight I'm talking about, then bring the documents to us, know that you are going to get the visa, alright? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching today. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Carl Milton from Huawei, I am called the Anointed Village Boy. Thank you so much for understanding. Someone asked me why I'm always putting on yellow. Guys, this is my secret and I believe with time you are going to know, alright? So don't worry too much, alright? So today's video, I'm going to be talking about tuition-free schools in Germany. There are There is a lot of things, or let me say there are a lot of things, a lot. I just came to realize that there are a lot of things a lot of students still need to understand. And I am here because I believe that some of these things I do, nobody explained them to me before when I started making moves, alright? But that is not the point. The point is, we need to help each other to grow. So I am here putting out this information because I think a lot of people still need to understand. Now, international students, if you must study in Germany, if you have someone who wants to study in Germany, please watch this video. This is a detailed video I have ever done in 2022 for studies in Germany, alright? Watch the video. Now, I will talk about how you can check universities in Germany. What is required of you, everything you need to know, all right, the website and when you are applying and, of course, getting the student visa, all right? Not the student visa, but the national visa to travel to Germany. First, before you even reach the visa stage, what you need to do is to locate universities in Germany and apply for. As Just as a background knowledge, Germany is one of those countries in the European Union, one of the powerhouses in the European Union, all right, one of the powerhouses in the European Union very industrialized country so if you are a scientist a science student an art student a social science student this is a country where you can consider all right now when you are to move to germany the first thing you need to do is research all right check the schools or check the programs but how do you check the schools or check the program if you go to google alone it is going to be very difficult for you to navigate all right or to know all the universities in germany that is why i bring up this video so that it can guide you now i will talk about one website all right i have done so many videos or let me say i have multiple videos about germany but they are not so detailed so this one is going to help you now there is a website called daad all right it is called dart in german all right that in german it means academic something something i do not know the language in german but it is an organization put in place by the german officials all right where students can search schools and easily navigate this is the easiest website you can ever find okay now what happens on that when you go to that daad -D, i will link it in the description box when you go to that you are going to find universities through the search engine all right what you have to do there when you go to that is you have to go to the section select a course if you are looking for bachelor's programs choose the section that says bachelor's i will link put a link that will take you directly to this place i'm talking about all right if you are looking for master's courses take masters then you select where you want to study or maybe the name of the university or the program type all right or the semester when you choose that and you click search all the universities that are available all right things related to that will pop up you are going to find more than 2000 universities or at least 1500 plus in that website all right the universities there are going to be many all right there will be some that are free tuition there will be some that are tuition paid what i mean is you know in germany Germany is the only country in Europe alongside Norway or with Norway that you can study for free, all right? I have said this on this channel multiple times. So if you are in that, you are going to find universities with tuition fee, all right? Immediately you click the university, it is going to tell you if you are going to be paying tuition fee or not. Now, what you need to do is to go individually on that. You click one university. For example, you are going to find schools like business schools of Munich. You are going to find Rheinwald University of Applied Sciences. You are going to find a school like Technical University of Munich, the University of Bonn, all right, the University of Bochum, Technical University of Munich, and Degendorf Institute of Technology, the University of Mining and Technology in Freiburg, and so many schools in Germany, all right, you will find more than 1,500 search results. Then now, what you need to do is, as soon as you click, all right, you will be checking according to the program. For example, if you want to study business administration, all right, you will find most of the business administration schools, they will have tuition fee allocated to them. What you need now to do is, if you are looking for tuition free schools, as soon as you click that, 
is going to open all right what you are going to find you will find public universities and private universities i mentioned that before then you are going to find something like a university for example i'm taking the university of munich for example if you click that click on the university of munich it is going to open what you will see there is the language of instructions all right you are also going to find the program description all right you are going to find the course description all right you are going to find application deadlines all right you are going to find course and funding all right you are going to find requirements and registration and of course where to submit your application now when you are already on the language of instruction check very well most programs in certain universities all right let's say you are on the university of mining and technology in freiburg now when you go look at the section for languages all right you are going to see some programs let's assume you are looking for a program like sustainable mining and remediation management all right excuse me guys i have done a video about this particular university if you check there they will say that you need ielts score all right but bottom line is that particular program does not need ielts score you understand me then another university will tell you that you have to provide ielts of seven like most schools especially some universities around hamburg and freiburg in germany they will tell you that you need to provide ielts of seven why others around maybe the areas of Cottbus or maybe Berlin will tell you you need 5.5 or 6. So that is what you are going to find. Again, when you click a university like the Technical University of Munich, you are going to find the program description. You will read the program description. When you move to the application deadline, you will see it when to start applying and when the application closes. All right. Then you also see cost and funding. Cost and funding now, if you are going to be paying tuition fee, you will find it there okay if you are not going to be paying tuition fee you will see it there they will tell you zero tuition if you are paying tuition fee you will see the amount there if you are not paying tuition fee you will see the amount that you are going to be paying per semester all right that is how it is it's unfortunate i cannot show you all of these things but i will try to put it in such a way you will understand with the links okay then you also see requirements and registration now let me talk about this application the application deadline now schools in germany let me say the schools in germany have different intakes some you will apply and start studies by april some you only apply and start studies by october that is the winter semester april is summer okay that is how it is you will find it on that all right when you try to search these schools now when you go to the application page you are going to see schools that are linked to uni assist all right uni assist is another body found with head office in berlin all right where you are going to pay an application fee you will find schools that are linked to uni assist when you try to read the application portal and registration formats all right then you will find other schools that are saying not through uni assist those schools that you are not passing through uni assist you are only using the university site you are not going to pay application fee all right and if you are passing through uni assist know that you are going to pay 75 euros for one program an extra 30 euros for another program which is going to now cost you 105 euros for two programs in that particular university so always search for schools that don't require an application fee but though they are scarce okay now when you look at cost and funding a school that does not have tuition fee payment they will always give you a semester contribution for example Dogendorf Institute of Technology the semester contribution for bachelor students is 62 euros that is all that 62 euros covers your transportation all right and your student semester fee or union fee that is all a university like Technik Bega Kandemi all right mining university of uh, uh, in Freiburg will charge you 300 euros that application that 300 euros is for yeah, your, your student semester fee your registration fee and that is it all right another school will charge you 150 euros like Rheinwald University I think it's um, around 320 euros or something Rheinwald will charge you just that amount no tuition fee most schools in Germany at least 75 80 percent of universities in Germany are tuition free all right so that is what you should understand for the cost and funding now for requirements they will tell you basic high school documents all right some will tell you if you are going for bachelors use your high school documents your YX certificate maybe in addition to your motivation letter your reference letters others will tell you just your high school certificate and your motivation letter and that is it others will tell you your high school certificate a motivation letter a reference letter and maybe um, a TOEFL score and IT score and uh, probably a GMAT or a GRE especially with business schools all right so that is how requirements vary now when it goes to the registration Universities that you are not passing through UNIA will always put their link to apply. All right. In that case, just click the link 
you open an account if you you as a new student who is registering for the first time on that site you have to create an account all right if you are coming back to check or to continue with your application you are going to the sign in button i hope you understand as simple as that now when you finish from there still at that application you are going to find a button to submit your application some schools when you are applying through uni assist you will create your account choose your program submit your online documents with ptf online documents are ptf copies all right you pay your application fee and you wait sometimes uni assist will tell you if we need extra documents we will ask you and they will always tell you because you have an account online you are following with a user's name and a password all right but other schools will tell you submit when you submit your application online those that are not you are not going through uni assist all right when you submit your application online submit hard copies to us for example the university of bonn will always ask for hard copies all right you have to legalize them some schools will even ask you legalize only at the level of the german embassy like uh, the, there is a university i'm forgetting the name i know all right another university like the university of uh, technical university in Cobros will ask you to legalize your documents at the level of the german embassy probably the university of bonn will tell you legalize it at the level of your university and the local officials all right so that is how the registration is some schools will ask you mail your documents using this email address or let me say this address they will give you an address this 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 site this uh po box this so that is how it is in that case you have to go to the post office or dhl and you mail your documents there are free tuition schools in germany the business schools of munich is not free the business schools in hamburg are not free all right but there are schools like rhein -Wahl. i have talked about them here they are free tuition you have the Technical University of Munich, it's free school. You have Technische Beger Academy in Freiburg, which is the mining university in Freiburg, it's free school. All right, you have the University of Bochum. Some programs at the University of Bochum will require you to take um, the German language, all right? Or you can even be admitted when you reach Germany, you take German, then when you finish with the German, you now proceed with your master's degree, all right? I had a friend who, um, who had this type of opportunity. Then a university like Dagendorf Institute is free. I have done a video about that. So you can check and you, you organize yourself and you watch. That is how application is in Germany and you are going to study for free. Now, when you get the admissions in the university, what next do you do? You need to now confirm your position, all right? Then you start applying for the student visa. For the documents you need to apply for the student visa, first, let me draw your attention to this. Proof of funds is very important. I have done videos about proof of funds where I even mentioned that if you have an affidavit of support and you know the affidavit must come from somebody working in Germany and have an account in Germany, all right? I have talked about this. I have even talked about the proof of funds, all right? Somebody was asking me if proof of funds can be less than 10,000 euros. No, it can't be less than 10,000 euros. Even if you put less than 10,332 euros in the account, when you take the documents, when the bank send the documents to you to go to the embassy, the embassy will tell you the money is not correct. Go and complete the money, get the documents and bring, all right? They will never attend to you if the money is not complete and they are not negotiating with you. Even if you are going for a German uh, language visa, all right, which is a one year visa, I have a video on it on my YouTube channel, they will still ask you the same amount, 10,332 euros. I have made a video about this, all right? Now, when you are applying for the visa, there are documents you need. You need the admissions letter. First document, admissions letter. You need um, your proof of funds, all right? Or it's either you provide documents for block account, all right, in your name, or you provide documents for affidavit. The affidavit that has been mailed to you, all right. You also need to show your birth certificate, all right. You need to show your birth certificate. You need to show the documents for your blocked account, all right. You need to show them. You also need to show your application form. There is an application form you have to fill, all right. You need to show them. Your international passport, of course. I would recommend don't take a passport to the embassy that is less than one year to expiring date. I have always said this on my youtube channel all right it is very very important guys do not do that error and when filling the visa application form the national visa application form pay attention to details fill all the sections completely all right if you do not fill them all that is a problem for you you have an embassy fee as well i think it should be around 55 000 cfe francs in cameroon money that should be around close to like 75 euros or something all right you cannot go to the embassy without booking an appointment you have to book an appointment as well all right when you submit all these documents the documents will be found on the german embassy website in any country you are going to again do not forget guys i have said appointment booking is of two types now those applying for booking for list a those booking for list b all right 
if you want to know more there are videos on this channel check the channel and watch all right there is a criteria now especially with the german embassy in cameroon and nigeria i am using cameroon and nigeria i know you are watching from india pakistan turkey and so many other places those watching from kuwait i know i see you all all right you can check with respect to your embassy or those in ghana okay so the embassy now is using for those in cameroon and nigeria because i know that is what is happening you are choosing two lists i already made a video about that those who will be who will be booking for list a and those booking for list b it is there now when you successfully apply for the visa if you are told you book the embassy you book the appointment you get an embassy date you go for the interview and everything is okay if you are to be granted the visa pay attention to this if you are to get the visa the embassy will email you or call you and tell you to go and pay your flight and or to go and book a flight all right you know what i mean book a flight and pay your medical insurance or your travel insurance the embassy will always tell you this immediately you receive this type of mail from the embassy know that they will give you the visa okay but if you are not going to get it of course they will call you to come for your passport but the german embassy if they want to give you the visa the german embassy in cameroon they will tell you go and pay your flight or go and book your flight pay your insurance and come for the insurance go to axa insurance you can pay online or whatsoever place all right they will always tell you details are found on the embassy website so that is how all this information is the embassy is found opposite hotel de ville in yaoundé all right after uh, Bolangeri Kalafata, somewhere opposite Hotel de Ville, beside the Maltese Embassy, all right, or the Embassy of Malta, all right, for those who will be asking for it, for Cameroonians only, all right. Abuja, those in Nigeria, I do not know how the system works. Well, it's pretty difficult nowadays, but I would recommend if you want to study in Europe, please look for free tuition schools. I was in my video, um, there is a video I'm, I'm going to drop, I don't know, before this or after this where i talked about studies in austria all right all they need the money in their own bank account twelve thousand euros but for germany you need a blocked account all right and the money is going to be in germany they cannot give you the money all when you arrive germany you have to be getting a portion of it every month for 12 months i hope you get the point again if you want to apply for the visa you need accommodation most schools somebody was asking me if uh, how he is going to get accommodation most schools in germany when they admit you they will give you a link to book appointment or to book accommodation all right when you book accommodation you have the chance to pay even in germany even if you move to germany and you don't like it you can change it but know that as soon as you pay for accommodation in germany your banking details everything you do in germany will be connected to that accommodation be very careful and when you are working in germany you can work in germany okay somebody was telling me one time ago that a friend said they don't work in germany students don't work in germany big fat lie big fat lie that is how some people keep deceiving fellow friends how can you be in germany as a student and you are saying you don't work in germany that's a big fat lie all right the minimum wage in germany is around nine point they were about to increase it all right remember i said they are looking for workers in germany it was about to be increased i don't know if it has been increased now i have people working with 12 euros per hour with amazon i have a friend in berlin and others in munich they are working what is somebody telling you do not be deceived look for me any country in the eu i was telling a subscriber today any country in the eu in as much as it is in the european union if you are hard working you will work in that country nobody should deceive you all right because there are a lot of lazy students abroad you go abroad and you are sleeping you expect to make results no it doesn't work that way money does not flow in the street in europe you have to search for jobs get jobs you work and you earn your money good money all right this is not africa i hope you understand excuse me guys so do not get distracted apply for schools if you are facing difficulties to get money for blocked account then you can try the other option of austria the video is there you watch the video you look for the option of austria remember austria is going to take you a lot of time not like germany germany is easy to apply easy to follow but austria will take you time because there are procedures for documents all right i hope you understand and i hope this video helps you until we meet again in another video guys if you are new please share this video subscribe and watch my videos all right thank you so much for understanding until we meet again peace